football fans. The high school season jump starts on Labor Day in the AllTelHoops.com kickoff classic. Come to the Rock and watch tradition reach Shiloh Christian take off Newton at 10 a.m. Followed by a battle of preseason number one. Springdale versus Pine Bar of Velocity Academy. At 3.30, it's Ozark against rival Clarksville. Then, under the lights, two-time defending state champ Warren will battle Big Bad Bryant. It's all football all day. The Alltel Hootens.com kickoff classic. Labor Day at War Memorial Stadium. Coming up next on Hootens Arkansas Football, a look ahead to the 2003 high school season. We'll tell you who should be some of the state's top teams in all four classifications. Plus, preview Labor Day's AllTelHootens.com kickoff classic in Little Rock. The season begins with a quadruple header at War Memorial Stadium. And we're ready. Stay tuned for the season premiere of Hootens Arkansas Football next. In just nine days, the high school football season will kick off in grand style right here at War Memorial Stadium in Little Rock with the AllTelHootens.com kickoff classic. Four great games. Check out the lineup. It all begins at 10 a.m. on Labor Day, and we will be here for four games, and we should be here until around 10 o'clock that night. More than 10,000 advanced tickets have been sold by the schools, and of course, tickets will be available at the gate on Labor Day here at War Memorial Stadium as well. Now, coming up in the next 30 minutes, we will talk more about the kickoff classic and preview some of the top teams in the state this year. That's all coming up here in the next 30 minutes on Hooton's Arkansas Football. We're glad you've tuned in, and we will begin with a look ahead to Class 5A tonight on Hooton's Arkansas Football, and it's brought to you by Big Red Fina. The Springdale Bulldogs opened last season ranked number one and waxed Warren in the AllTelHootens.com kickoff classic to start a 12-win season, including a 21-15 decision at Fort Smith Southside. In the playoffs, the Bulldogs ran over Lake Hamilton and Jonesboro before avenging their only regular season loss with a semifinal victory at Russellville. A week later, the Red Dogs were back at the Rock, but a rematch with Southside in the state championship game didn't go their way. Ten starters return at Springdale, including Sonic Super Team lineman Zach Eichenberger and bruising tailback Zach Butler, who has 4-5 speed and rushed for close to 1,000 yards in just six games last season. Defending champ Southside opens the year ranked number two. The Rebels return seven of 11 starters on offense, led by Super Team quarterback John Thomas and spectacular junior receiver Slick Shelley. As a sophomore last season, Shelley caught 56 passes for more than 1,000 yards and 15 touchdowns. He is the first junior ever named to the Class 5A preseason Sonic Super Team. Close behind the Red Dogs and the Rebels is the West Memphis Blue Devils. Coach Lenny Dowks' team beat Cabot last year to earn the East Conference's top spot. In the playoffs, the Blue Devils lost a close game in the second round for the second straight season. This year's bunch of Blue Devils looks ready to torment even more opponents. Phenomenal fullback Kyle Payne, wingback Corey Davis, and hard-running buddy Eugene Edwards will make West Memphis's wing tee attack one of the state's top offenses. The Benton Panthers defense looked especially porous in an intra-squad scrimmage last week. Coach Mark Jones must find some answers before Labor Day's matchup with Shiloh Christian. On offense, Benton has some weapons with athletic quarterback Justin Ray, six foot three receiver John Chris Roberts, and speedy scat back Josh Morgan. The talent for 14 wins and a state title are on hand at Conway but expectations remain low for the Wampus Cats, who are best known for seven or eight win seasons followed by an early playoff exit. Standout running backs Peyton Hillis and Kevin Wardlow ran behind returning standout lineman Colin Sears last season, helping the Wampus Cats share another conference title before losing in the second round of the playoffs. The key is, can they, even if they just throw a few times a game, can they complete the key passes to loosen that defense up? They've got to 
And that's been one of their problems, too, when they've gotten into playoffs. Teams have stacked up defensively on them, and they've got to be able to keep defenses honest. The Bryant Hornets return 15 starters and open the season ranked number five in the state. The Hornets will miss quarterback Lance Parker, who signed with Vanderbilt, but should have one of the state's bigger and better offensive lines. Bryant kicks off its season against Class 3A's two-time defending state champion Warren in the Alltel Hootens.com kickoff classic on Labor Day at War Memorial Stadium. It's scary when you think about it. They've lost one game in the last two years. They've won back-to-back -back state championships. Uh, from what I've heard, they're, they're just reloading down there. It's not a rebuilding year for them. They've got a lot of young kids, but they're talented young kids. And, and Coach Embry seems to think that later on in the season they're going to be a contender again for a state championship. You know, we faced a similar situation last year going in playing Shiloh, and, and it was tough for three quarters. Fourth quarter, I think we wore them down a little bit, and our depth played a big key in that. And, and hopefully the same thing will be true this year. Russell advanced to the playoff semifinals last season and should again be at least a top 10 team, even without all everything quarterback Landon Leach. Look for three year starter Tracy Steiger to touch the ball more than 20 times per game at Russellville. We got to get some of our defensive young kids to grow up a little bit, which they're doing, you know, when, they, when they're out there playing as sophomores, it's awful difficult playing against the teams we play against. So, uh, you know, we're going to be better on that side of the ball. Got some good kids up front, Jonathan Rydell and uh, that bunch. So. And here's a look at Hooton's Arkansas football preseason class 5A ranking Springdale on top, followed by Southside, West Memphis, Conway, and the Hornets. Everyone is surprised we have Bentonville ranked number seven, then it's El Dorado, Fayetteville, and Russellville. Camden Fairview starts the second 10, followed by Talented Central, Dangerous, North Little Rock, Fort Smith, Northside, and the Zebras. Texarkana has a new coach in Bill Keppel. The Razorbacks are followed by Jacksonville, Jonesboro, the Mustangs, and the Mountaineers at number 20. Well, Coleman Derry presents the Coleman Kid of the Week. Benton running back Josh Morgan proved in his first season of varsity football that he can run with the big hogs. As a sophomore, Morgan tore up the Texarkana Razorbacks for 195 yards last season. He also electrified Panther Faithful in last season's opener, rushing for 181 yards against Pulaski Academy, including this nifty hook and ladder touchdown. More than 800 yards as a sophomore and ready for his junior season to start in just nine days. Josh Morgan Morgan of Benton, our Coleman Kid of the Week. And good luck to Josh and the Benton Panthers. They will begin their season here in nine days against Shiloh Christian in the kickoff classic. Coming up next, more of Hooton's Arkansas football. A look ahead at Class 4A is next. Farm. And we begin our look at Class 4A with defending state champion Stuttgart. The Rice Birds have played in the past two state title games, and nine returning starters could fuel another run to the Rock. Hefty linemen Brett Helms and Trip Morgan are two of the more highly regarded players in the state. Senior running back Brandon Cunningham could be the workhorse for an explosive offense that can run or pass. The Sylvan Hills Bears lost to Stuttgart in last year's state title game, and it wouldn't be a surprise if the 4A Southeast rivals met again at War Memorial this year. For the Bears to make it back, they'll need to find successors for 11 graduated starters, including All-State quarterback Colby Sanders and linebacker Chad Brown. But a battle-tested defensive line and talented junior running backs Camming Kareem and Hezekiah Smith should put Sylvan Hills deep in the playoffs again. Usually a team from the 4A West lands in the state title game, and Harrison, Alma, and Greenwood are realistic candidates this season. Harrison won it all in 1999 and could return this fall behind a steady running game and an aggressive defense. Under coach Frank Vines, the Alma Airedales have played for the state title eight times, winning three of them. The Airedales won 12 games last year, but look for Alma to again rely on a salty defense. The Clarksville Panthers advanced in the playoffs last fall in their first season as a member of Class 4A. But just two starters returned from that team. And Coach Michael Banning's youthful Clarksville bunch must mature quickly. We lost 18 seniors from last year's team that was very successful. Uh, and we come back with six seniors this year. And, and uh, it's going to be very important that those seniors understand the leadership role. The Batesville Pioneers led Sylvan Hills at halftime in the playoffs last year before losing 28-20. The Pioneers have reloaded on defense, and Batesville's offense has the potential to be one of the more exciting in the state. We should have a good team this year, and uh, 
you know, it's just a matter of going out and getting it done and getting over that hump. You know, we still we get right to that hump and have a good good group every year, good team, but uh, getting the playoffs and kind of falter there towards the end. So we're looking to break that jinx this year. The Hope Bobcats won't be taken lightly by anyone in the Southwest. Hope has won two of the past three conference titles. Second year coach Johnny Turner's team is loaded with speed. Here is a look at Hooton's Arkansas Football Class 4A rankings brought to you by Arkansas Cooper Tire Dealers. Stuttgart is on top. The Ricebirds have enough talent to play in their third straight title game this year. Alma second, and then it's Sylvan Hills, the Golden Goblins, and the Hope Bobcats. Greenwood starts the second five, followed by Batesville, Wynn, and Hot Springs at number nine. Hot Springs picked up some help in the summer when Mountain Pine running back K.J. Esau transferred to Hot Springs. Bologna starts the second 10, then it's West Helena, Tulaski Robinson, B.B. and Marlton. Paragould is number 16, then it's Magnolia, Mills, Clarksville, and the Marion Patriots round out the Class 4A Top 20. Coming up next, more of Hooton's Arkansas football, a preview of Class 3A. The Pulaski Academy Bruins lost in the second round of the playoffs last season, but begin this year atop our 3A rankings. Adding to PA's pressure is at least six players are expected to sign college scholarships, including quarterback Adam Thrash, receiver John Aaron Reese, running back Stephen Green, and linebacker Matt Stoltz. The talented Bruins have a chance to prove their hype on Labor Day at War Memorial Stadium against Class 5A Giant Springdale in the all Hootons.com kickoff classic. The two-time defending state champions of Class 3A are the Warren Lumberjacks. Warren has won 29 games over the past two seasons. Coach Bo Embry is hoping junior quarterback Aaron Rao, standout receivers Daryl Adams and Ricardo Kemp, and a little lumberjack tradition can get them back to the title game for a third straight year. The last two years we've been blessed with great athletes and and you know we got a little tradition going right now in Warren, Arkansas, and, and hopefully we can build off that, and, and hopefully uh, this year we can carry us a little bit. One of the more exciting teams in the state this season could be the Prescott Curly Wolves. Prescott made it to the semifinals a year ago and opens the season ranked number two in the state. A dozen Curly Wolves starters are back, including senior quarterback Zach Martin and running back R.J. Van Hook. Those two combined for more than 3,400 yards offense a year ago. And Josh Butler, who plays both nose guard and tight end, is one of the better players in the state. The Star City Bulldogs made the 8 AAA proud again last November by ousting Pulaski Academy from the playoffs. Coach Buck James welcomes back 10 Bulldog starters, including running back Charles Hall and a hard-hitting defense. Despite a complete meltdown last season, Shiloh Christian still has plenty of tradition. No other team in Arkansas can say they've played in five state title games over the past six seasons. And 17 Shiloh starters return hungry for a season opener against Class 5A Benton in the kickoff classic. That's really all the only game that matters to us. We feel we've really got to start off well to this season and Benton's that game at 10 a.m. and we plan on being there ready to play. And so, you know we had a humbling year last year. It was a challenging year, tough year, but what it did is really kind of fed our senior class for this year. They're real hungry. They don't like that feeling. They don't want to be a part of that again. So they're just going to go out and take one game at a time and just do the best they can, but uh, I don't think Shiloh's done. And here is a look at Hooton's Arkansas Football Class 3A rankings. PA start the season on top. The Bruins have at least six players who expect to sign college scholarships in the spring. Prescott's number two, then it's the Warren Lumberjacks. Warren is the two-time defending state champ, but a five-point underdog against Bryant going into the kickoff classic. Rivercrest is number four, then it's Newport, Ozark, Dollarway, Osceola, Nashville, and Star City. Boonville starts the second ten, followed by Oak Grove, Ashdown, and Shiloh Christian. Shiloh has 17 starters returning. Dover is number 16. The Pirates are talented at the skill positions. CAC is 17. Then it's Dumas, Gosnell, and the Brinkley Tigers to round out the top 20. Now the United States Marines presents our Scholar Athlete of the Week. Surrounded in a positive environment, Central Arkansas Christian Stephen McMullen is ranked fifth in his class with an eye-popping 4.1 GPA. I, I see my friends around me that work hard also, and it's kind of like a competitive nature that, that I have inside of me that makes me want to work hard and succeed. Stephen McMullen is kind of the Cordell Stewart of the Mustang football program, but in his case, it's slash, slash, and slash. Quarterback, wide receiver, defensive back, you name it, he's played it. He has a great grasp and, and middle understanding of the game. 
And so it allows us to uh, do a lot of things that normally we, we wouldn't be able to do because of his versatility. Congratulations, Congratulations to this future biomedical also, engineer, the deserving Marine Scholar yeah, Athlete of the Week. All right, thanks a lot, Joe, and congratulations to Stephen McMullen, our Marine Scholar Athlete of the Week. Coming up next, more of Hooton's Arkansas football. A look ahead at Class 2A is next. Football fans, the high school season jump starts on Labor Day. Brought to you by First Security Bank Corp. Meet the Charleston Tigers, our preseason number one team. Charleston led Harding Academy by two touchdowns in last year's quarterfinals before losing 28 to 21. Quarterback Doc Crowley has graduated, but almost everyone else returns. Nine one-way starters on defense. And junior Drew Hill is a threat to score every time he touches the ball as a running back, receiver, or on special teams. In Class 2A, Harding Academy was a clear-cut favorite last year, and quarterback Caleb Keyes put the Wildcats on his back and drove them to their fourth state championship. But Keyes and 20 of his classmates graduated in May, leaving Coach Tommy Shoemaker with his biggest rebuilding job to date. You know, one thing about old Tommy up there is that he just reloads, you know. You think he's going to be down. Every time I think he's going to be down, he's, he's actually... He just reloading and he's in, he's in pretty good shape. He's got some kids coming in, you know, they've got the system. You know, those kids are coming up through junior high and they're playing the same kind of ball that high school's playing and running the same plays and they're, they're going to be, whoever it is, is going to be uh, able to handle it. And they've got some skilled players that are coming up. They're younger and, and, and not very well known, but there's, there's some brothers. You know, the brothers keep coming up through uh, Harding Academy, you know, the older brothers have gone on and the younger brothers come up and it always seems like they've got somebody there. The champion might come from the 6AA again though, you guessed it, Barton, where legendary coach Frank McClellan's teams have compiled a mind-boggling 330 wins against just 45 losses. The Vaughn brothers, quarterback Chris and wingback Antonio, are back and Barton's death will be better this year. If the third-ranked Bears stay healthy, they could play for their eighth state title. You play loose. You play reckless. You play to win. Hooton's preseason number four team is Ryzen, another tradition-rich program that has collected seven state championship rings. I think our young guys are really going to have to progress. Our linemen are really going to have to carry us for a while. We don't have the speed that we've had in the past. Uh, we have some potential up front, and, and some of those guys are going to have to carry the load. Number six ranked Danville came within three minutes of capturing the state championship last December. With all state running back Dustin Danner returning, the Little Johns could again claim the 4AA title. But without all state quarterback Joe Short and lineman Albert Villadrosa, Danville may have difficulty getting past number eight Hector, an up and coming Arkansas Baptist, where third year coach Tucker Barnard welcomes back 13 starters from a five and five team a year ago. Uh, we're going to be real young again. Uh, we started. Uh, we started six or seven sophomores last year, and we'll probably start um, five or six sophomores this year. Uh, but uh, we've got some talented kids, and uh, we really believe that uh, that we've got a chance to do some things and uh, and do well in the conference. Uh, you know, of course, Danville and Hector are, are always are always going to be real tough, and and uh, you've got to get by them to get one of those uh, top two spots. But um, that's what we're that's what we're working for right now is is one of those top two spots. The Jesseville Lions marched to their first 5AA title last year and the entire backfield of quarterback Sean Bates and running backs Blake Ellison, Michael Meredith, and Andy Alt return at Jesseville. Mount Ida's talented backfield of 2002 is gone, but seven starters are back on defense, including senior fullback linebacker Stephen McDowell. Cutter Morningstar is another team from the 5AA chasing a playoff berth and a week three matchup at Glen Rose looms large for coach Gary Jackson's Eagles. The first two are extremely important for us. Uh, those are two that, that we look at as must wins. Uh, I know Coach Elmore over at Glen Rose, he has all of his kids coming back, uh, probably getting adapted to his system a little bit. We were very fortunate to beat him last year. Uh, I, I think we have a good opportunity, hopefully, to be 2-0 going into that game, and we got to go to their place this year, and I know they're going to be ready to play us, but uh, that could be a pivotal game for us. And here's a look at Hooton's Arkansas Football Class 2A rankings. Charleston, a bit of a surprise at number one. Look for the Tigers to walk through the 1AA. Then it's Junction City, which made it to the semis again last year, followed by Barton, Risen, and Bearden. 
the Little Johns are number six, followed by the defending champs, Hector, the Go Devils, and Jesseville. Hughes starts the second ten, then it's Mineral Springs, the Patriots, Hampton, and Elkins at number 15. The Buckaroos are 16, followed by Augusta, P Ridge, Boxite, and the Outlaws at number 20. Football fans, the high school season jump starts on Labor Day in the AllTelHoops.com kickoff classic. Come to the Rock and watch tradition reach Shiloh Christian take off at 10 a.m. Followed by battle of preseason number one, Springdale versus Pride and Power Velocity Academy. At 3.30, it's Ozark against rival Clarksville. Then, under the lights, two-time defending state champ Warren will battle Big Bad Bryant. It's all football all day. The Alltel Hootons.com kickoff class. Thanks again for watching Hootons Arkansas football tonight. We look forward to seeing you again next Saturday night at the same time when we will again preview some of the top teams in the state. And of course, we will be here all the way through the regular season as well. And we look forward to seeing you again next Saturday night right here on Hootons Arkansas football. Football fans, the high school season.